Hi there! I'm in my hometown again and I'm filming in my kitchen because apparently in the mornings here's the best lighting. Anyways, uh, today I want to try that Siren Eyes trend, even though like I did such looks a lot in the past. I did like a lot of smoky liners, a lot of just liner looks, cat eye looks. Uh, basically the concept is extending your eye like inner and outer corner just creating a more elongated eye shape that kind of more mysterious eye shape uh, I do have rounded eyes so usually that kind of shape really transforms my look altogether I did a lot of videos in the past with comparing different eyeshadow shapes for my rounded eyes I think that's where most of you came from because those are my most popular videos but I'm going to link one somewhere here just uh, I think the one that I did here it can be called Siren Eye, but today I'm going to do like a dedicated video to the Siren Eyes trend. Okay, let's get into it. Well, first I'm going to do some concealing. I'm not going to apply foundation today because I don't feel like I want to, but I'm going to conceal my under eyes and powder and do some blush, probably bronzer as well. When I'm not using foundation, I usually use a concealer in my right shade, not anything lighter than my skin tone. Today I will use the Stay Naked concealer from Urban Decay, it's in the shade 40 and I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of this in the inner portion of my under eyes. I don't want my under eyes to be completely cancelled out because I don't have foundation obviously and it's going to look a little bit weird if I do apply a lot of concealer so I'm just going to keep it low-key <laughs> and I'm also going to use it as an eyeshadow base. So applying a tiny bit of that on my lids as well. I just realized that I do not have a hand mirror with me, so this is my best option today. I'm gonna blend my concealer with my fingers, just going to do little taps like that to blend it out. I'm not going to extend it too much, I'm going to keep it in the inner portion of my under eyes. And then I'm also going to set this, I'm going to use a little bit of translucent powder I have here. The RCMA No Color Powder, even though it looks like a different powder, I moved it into another jar because the original one is pretty tricky to use. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Setter Brush and pick up the powder. I don't need a lot of it, I'm just going to coat my brush in it and then dust off the excess. I'm making sure there are no creases before I set and then I'm going to stamp the powder like that and also kind of bring it towards my pores area to blur them out a bit. And I think I'm also going to set my lids. I want to attempt to use a bit of bronzer as well, but I only have powder bronzer and I hope it won't look patchy because I don't have a base on. Like, I hope it won't cling to my SPF and stuff. I do have here the Hula bronzer from Benefit and uh, let's try it out. I just want a tiny bit of that. So I'm just going to really, really dust off the excess from my brush. Wiping my brush a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to do like little stamping motions here okay that that's pretty if I do apply a lot of this it can be a little bit too dark for me but when I apply a small amount like that I wow it's really lovely I picked up a little bit more and I'm going to apply it on my forehead as well on the sides of my forehead I'm also going to do Kind of like a temple contour here that I'm going to connect with my eyeshadow area. The tiniest bit of that underneath my nose. I wanted a bit of concealer on this guy. Let's see if I can cover it. The trash car? Trash car? How is it called? The huge car that is picking up the trash is outside right now and you can hear it. I'm going to finish up my complexion with a bit of cream blush. I'm going to use this one by Fenty in the shade Crush on Cupid. And again, I'm going to use my finger and apply it right here, kind of on the sides of my face and a little bit upwards so it lifts my cheekbones visually. Obviously, it can't physically lift my cheekbone. <laughs> what a cute difference, but I think I'm going to build it up a bit. Just so it's more noticeable. This was my summer base. Basically I wore this base most summer but without the bronzer but the day that I added the bronzer I feel like a new person. I love it. <laughs> it doesn't 
I mean, it's not that noticeable, but I do notice it, and to me it does make a difference. I'm obsessing over this base. Fresh, natural, you can still see my freckles, which I love, but let's move on to the eyes, because that's why you're here, I guess. <laughs> okay, for the eyes I'm going to need a pencil base. You can use black, brown, whatever you like. I'm going to use the Revolution Black Coal something. Um, I don't know, this is it. Just a black pencil. <laughs> and I'm going to create a base with it, a sketch, to be more precise. And the placement that you want to do, you want to keep your eyes open for this entire process. And you're going to want to create an extension on your outer corner of the eye. I'm going to start by lining my waterline just to create a little bit more definition to my eye. So lining here and also underneath my lashes. I'm going to try to keep it as subtle as possible. It's going to be a little bit tricky for me because I usually go overboard with a lot of things in makeup. So, And then I'm going to create a little extension on my outer corner. Basically, I'm going to continue this waterline. And do an extension like that. I'm going to connect that to my lid. Again, keeping my eyes open, you can go any eye folds that you might have. You don't have to create a huge line, we're going to blend it out, so... And then I'm going to use my pencil brush, this is a Morphe M149, and I'm going to use it to smudge this a little bit. And a very important thing, especially if you have rounded eyes, you have to keep this pencil on the outer half of the eye, so it will lift your outer corner and extend your eye. If you do apply it here in the center, you're going to make your eyes appear rounder. And for this look, we want them to be as extended as possible and not rounded. Doing a little flicks of the brush. To just smudge this a little bit. And now what I will also do is line the inner portion of my eye to extend my eye both from the outer corner and the inner corner. I do have close-set eyes, so this can be can really bring the eyes closer together. So if you have close-set eyes, you can skip this. I usually don't mind it on myself, even though I have close-set eyes. I'm going to do a little a little smudge of the pencil here, kind of like that. And again, I will use my pencil brush and fade it a bit. With the tip of the brush, I will create a little point here. I want it to look a little bit more effortless, so it doesn't have to be really precise. That's why I'm not using a liquid liner. The pencil just gives a more effortless, kind of cool girl look, and uh, that's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> and you can see already what a difference. This eye looks so much more extended than, than this eye. You can obviously leave it like this, but I do want to apply a little bit of eyeshadow as well. Uh, I could use some black eyeshadow at the moment, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to set the pencil really, but I'm going to add some browns to really emphasize this extension. Where's my palette? Oh, I have here the um, Revolution Iconic Fever palette. I've been using this one for neutrals for a few weeks now, and um, yeah, it's really good. I'm going to take this. Uh, darkest brown of the palette on a Morphe M507 brush. This again has a pretty pointy tip and I'm going to apply it a little bit above the pencil and create a little bit of a fade and then a little bit on the inner portion here but really close to the base of my lashes and again the center of the eye needs to stay there. No eyeshadow there. This will add a little bit more depth and uh, mystery to the eyes. And as my transition shade, I'm going to go for this brown in the palette, in the corner. And uh, I'm going to use it right here to fade that brown, because right now it looks a little bit unblended, which is fine. Again, we want that effortless look. I'm, I'm just too picky about blending. I can leave it like this. And I need that pencil brush, and I want to fade this liner a little bit more. I'm using just whatever is left on it. And using that brown here as well. And again, I'm not going to apply it in the center of my lid. I think I can drag this one along my lower lash line as well. Just to have 
have a little bit of color there. I left this eye bare just so you can see the difference. Uh, well, I'm going to use my Size Up mascara from Sephora Collection and I'm going to focus it on the outer corner of my eye, of my eyelashes, because again I want to emphasize that extension. So I'm going to apply it tilted like that, not combing them upwards but combing them towards my outer corner and focusing the most product on the outer corner lashes. I'm not even going to apply mascara on these inner corner eyelashes. And same goes for the bottom ones. And if you use false lashes you can just apply uh, uh, half lashes just in the outer corner. I think that will look amazing. I used to use them a lot in the past but right now I'm just too unbothered <laughs> to apply false lashes. There are some mascara stains that I need to clean up here but uh, look at this difference. Look how rounded my right eye looks compared to this left eye. Again rounded eyes can look very cute and uh, like poppy eyes somehow but maybe you want to go for a more mysterious look. I feel like this eye look can really help you with that. Now I'm just going to do my other eye and finish up my makeup and I will show you the end result. I finished up my makeup. This is how it's looking. At the moment I am obsessing over myself, staring at myself in the mirror. I really love this look. I think this is going to be like my go-to in the next months or weeks or days. I don't know. <laughs> but I really, really love how it looks. It's just cool, effortless, mysterious and I live for this vibe. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Let me know in the comments whether or not you try this siren eye trend or if you will try it after seeing this video. I hope you will. <laughs> the lighting change here is it looks a little bit weird at the moment but whatever. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you found it useful. I wish you the most amazing day ever and I will see you next time. Bye!